Hey guys, it's Marvin from Numerous the Paintball Team here, and today I got for you guys the Virtue Vial review. Uh, if you didn't know, the Virtue Vial is a new mask on the market right now. Uh, it retails around 150, depending on your retail, 140, 150, uh, and then customizations are going to be uh, additional prices. So here's the Virtue Vial box. Uh, it come it's it's just a standard box, but definitely what sets it apart is that it comes with all the information on the mask. I'm talking about every single piece of information. Um, the uh, on the back here, I'll just show you the back from the back. On um, the back here, you're gonna get uh, all the features, all the specifications of the mask. So it tells you what it comes with and all that stuff. And then on the sides, you have the customization. So it tells you what you can customize and stuff like that. And then on the last, on the last side, you do have uh, the breakdown of the mask. So your how your mask comes apart and what each part does. And then on the front, you just have the standard display. My mask is not in here. My mask is on the side here. But very very good box right off the start it just gives you a whole ton of information that you can look at so if you're at a store or something and you're looking at this mask you don't have to ask well, what does this come with because you can just read the box and it will just tell you so definitely very very good um so right off the bat when you unbox it it's gonna open in this trifold kind of thing very very good i don't know why i like this kind of presentation it's just grand i guess it just makes that the the uh, anticipation just a little bit better compared to other boxes. Uh, inside you'll get your stand that your mask will come on. As I said before, my mask not here. Uh, is right there on the side. Uh, it just comes on the stand that you're going to see through the window on the box. Um, and then on the bottom you do have the instructions for lens removal and stuff like that. And then inside the bag you also have a Virtue Vio mask bag which I'll show you later on. And then here you also have a lens bag. So if you purchase an extra lens uh, and you want to be carrying around that lens to the field just in case you get hit in the lens and you want to change it out or something like that or depending on your condition, you have a lens bag to keep that extra lens safe and stored away so that it doesn't get scratched or have get dust on it and stuff like that. So definitely very good. They went that little extra mile to give you what you need in, in a sense, your a lens bag compared to other masks which don't give you that right off the bat and you kind of have to, I don't think they even, not all retails even sell an extra mask bag, I mean a lens bag, like for lenses, for like the dyes, i4s, e flex and stuff like that, so very very good virtue, really like the presentation right off the bat, so here you, here's the box again, here's the box again, the back, and then, yeah, so that's just the box, very good presentation, put that off to the side, here I have my v virtue vial, oh, I've got Here's your, here's the mask bag, uh, mask bag, it just says Vio on it, and then underneath Vio says Versatile Innovative Optic, so that's what Vio stands for, if you guys didn't know, this is just the mask bag, it's kind of like a silk, uh, silk kind of material, fabric material, I don't know, um, but it's very, very good, I know it won't scratch my mask or anything, so, just a standard mask bag. Um, moving on right into the Vio, um, some features that this will differentiate itself from other masks on the market, such as the die, as I will refer throughout the video, the die i4, uh, the E-Flex, the Pro-Flex, the other high mask V4 squirrels and stuff like that. I will be referring to other masks just because the Vial is one of those high-end masks on the market right now. So uh, here's the top view, side view, and front view. So. Here's a good look at the vial itself. Uh, some things that I want to point out that will differentiate it's this mask from other masks is first the foam. Um, the foam, uh, I'm not, uh, the foam is gonna be very, is very very comfortable. I've already tried on this mask. The foam is very comfortable, very very soft. But really, what really makes this so unique is that the foam is not glued directly to the mask. So unlike the dyes, the E Flex, the V Force, the the foam itself is gonna be glued to this plastic insert kind of thing that just hinges on your on your mask, and that way it makes it easier to clean off your foam, to rinse out your foam, or if you get hit up there, or you just have so much sweat in there and it just starts smelling bad, you can remove that and then wash it, and let it dry, and then put it back instead of removing your lens, washing the entire mask. And, tr and trying to kind of like keep the masks 
dry while trying to get the, the little foam because I know I've tried doing that with my uh, full coverage and I kind of had to wash the entire mask which I don't really exactly mind but I had just removed the lens and stuff like that but definitely very very good just because they now give you the option to remove your foam so that's one of the features that differentiate this from other masks another thing that's going to differentiate this mask from others is the new uh, hinge lock kind of thing um it is it's kind of like it's similar to a die but it's the other way around so you don't push in this time you push out i mean you pull out so there's it's kind of like a buckle so it's kind of like those buckles that you will find on backpacks and stuff it's just a buckle but it's gonna be very very firm so that's one complaint i have to talk about um uh it's gonna be very very firm right in the beginning um just because the buckle is going to be really hard and really uh, it's going to be a hard plastic and you have to kind of get uh, pliers, that's what I, I'm trying to do. I'm still working on my brother's mask and then I'm going to be moving on to my mask. So you kind of have to, if it's really hard for your fingers to do it, you have to get needle those pliers and squeeze that and, and then pull it out and then kind of break it in by squeezing it in and out. But um, uh, this is going to be diff a different kind of lens change, that's what really differentiates it from other masks. Um, and it also comes with this unlocked tab that you'll see uh, when you do pull out your uh, buckle, you'll get an unlocked tab. So this is going to be one of those masks that you can't really mess up your lens removal or locking of the lens. You don't have to really question, is my lens really locked in there? Is my lens really uh, going to be in there? Is it going to pop out or anything? No, uh, because it's, uh, it's going to come with these tags on the back here. It's going to come with one tag that's going to show you how your mask should look after you remove your lens and stuff so there should not be a gap your unlocked button must be inside and stuff like that so definitely very very good this could be a different kind of change lens change system so um moving on some other features that you're gonna see standard with other masks is you're just gonna get this face mask with a ton of venting uh you're gonna have the top venting here also uh this is very similar to the dye i4 venting just the standard striping of the venting so here you go um and then as the mask itself um has hard ears um the customization of this mask will be um the face mask itself so what holds in the lens uh the face mask on the bottom here uh the straps and then i guess you can say the ears just because the ear pieces come with whatever face mask color you order so if i order the purple it will come with the purple but if you order a custom uh, face mask at the bottom uh it will come with a different color so be sure so that's kind of for customization as i guess uh they come in a different a ton of different colors so your mask will never look the same unless you just unless you're like me who just keeps the stock mask maybe change out the lens and that's about it but yeah so very very good um gives you a lot of options for colors and making it just for you so very very good um another feature is the drop down ear so this is going to differentiate itself from other masks just because something like the dyes whose profile just goes up like this for the ears so it's not going to get this drop down it's just going to go up along with its uh face mask down there uh it's just gonna go up and then it's not gonna protect your ear lobes or your ears like probably like half my ear gets exposed when i wear the dye but with this it drops down just enough to cover up to your ear lobes so you don't have to worry about your ear being exposed and it is a hard ear as i said before um for the face mask itself the face mask the profile of the face mask is going to be very very similar to the dia force the dia force will have a smaller profile but this but with the dia force your jawline is also being exposed so with this they kind of uh i guess in, the, in a way kind of just taking the i4 and kind of made it just that extra mile better um, with its jawline. So the jawline now is going to extend all the way down and I'm going to put on this mask later, but it's going to extend all the way down past your jaw. So you, even if you have a long uh, jawline or a, a, a long face, um, you won't nest. Uh, it's going to be more coverage compared to if you wear a dye. So yeah so that's just the profile um a lot of questions people have been asking about this mask does it fit glasses yes it does um like i don't want to say 
that, but um, unlike the Dia 4s, I'm not putting down the Dia 4s, I will be comparing to this Dia 4 just because the Dia 4 is very, very similar to this mask, but uh, unlike the Dia 4s, the, my, my glasses, in my case, um, my glasses are very, very firm and very structural, so uh, I cannot wear a Dia, that's why I went with the Vios. Um, my uh, Dia 4 would not fit my glasses just because I've tried it, I've tried on Daniel's Dia 4 and it's just very, very, very tight uh, and I don't like the pressure of it squeezing in my glasses. So. I went with this mask, uh, obviously this mask, I wouldn't have purchased it if it didn't fit my glasses, so here it is, just put it on like that, um, it does fit my glasses, it's not putting any pressure on its side, um, the lens is not touching my glasses or anything, so it's definitely very roomy uh, for glasses, it's gonna fit any type of glasses just because my glasses, I know for a fact, it's gonna be the more rigid uh, glasses, so it's gonna be the more firm glasses on the market, you're not going to really get anything bigger than these glasses. Um, so I guess this is kind of like a true test of can it fit glasses and yes it can. So very, very good. And if you're wondering, I'm not speaking any louder, I'm just speaking at my normal voice. So definitely um, the venting and kind of like how the venting is placed, it's very, very good for it to uh, allow you to talk on the field and communicate without it blurring out your words or restricting your voice. Um, another thing to point out with this um, um, is that it's gonna have uh, what's it? it's not gonna uh, back up your uh, your breath, so you're not gonna be smelling your breath. I can't smell my breath right now uh, just because it's letting everything out. Um, another thing is that I don't get the feedback like I get with other masks. Uh, this doesn't put back feedback through masks and kind of like vibrate it and kind of, uh, uh, kind of like, kind of in a sense vibrate it. Uh, it's not. It's just letting my voice go, uh, come out and talk to you guys. So, very very good. Um, very very well well made face mask down here. Uh, they took into consideration what other mask, uh, what other mask not didn't take into consideration but what other masks uh, lack in so definitely very very good here so taking off this mask um, another thing that I want to talk about is the face mask again um, is the condensation that you're going to be getting here this is one of the cons other than the face mask I mean the lens removal down here the buckle is going to be really hard to take off that's one con and then this is going to be the last con second con whatever you want to call it Se the second the only two cons is that, the buckle itself, and then the condensation here. But I guess the condensation is not really a big problem, just because it's only me, I think it's only me, uh, that's really picky about those things. I don't like the condensation touching me, and I don't like that feeling of having something dripping. So, you're going to be getting a lot of condensation when you're on the field there, breathing heavily and stuff like that. You're going to be getting a lot of condensation, so if you have a really long chin, you might even touch that condensation with your chin and stuff like that. So be wary of that. If you guys don't like that, like me, um, take that into uh, consideration. You will feel that condensation just because um, it does let out all your breath and everything. It's just that there's going to be a lot of condensation there. I don't know why, but yeah. So just two cons, the buckle and the, the condensation here. Um, other than that, it's actually a relatively good mask. Uh, it will be, it is comparable to a Dyer for an E-Flex, a Proflex and all the, those good masks. Um, another thing to point out with this face mask is that it is a soft face mask. It is not a rigid face mask as it may look like it. It might look like a Dyer for uh, face mask which is very rigid uh, it's a hard plastic but in this case it's not it's kind of flexible so you will you possibly will be getting bounces on these um, so it's not as flexible as eflex or proflex bottom but it is going to be uh, more flexible than a die so it's going to be I guess it's in between the two masks um, so very very good very very light I have to say that it's going to be very very light might not be as light as a Dia 4, I, never, I don't know, I I don't own a Dia 4, but I've, I've tried on Daniel's Dia 4, as I said before, uh, it's considerably much less pressure around your, kind of, my region of my glasses, but definitely very, very 
light, very, very comfortable. The foam is going to be very, very comfortable. Obviously not as comfortable as the E-Flex foam, just because E-Flex is E-Flex foam. Um, E-Flex, Proflex, those type of foams, um, those foams are the best on the market considerably uh, in most people's opinions uh, just because they're really, really soft and they're very comfortable. So, uh, but this is going to be a close second. So the foam is going to be very, very comfortable. Um, very, very light as I said before. Customizations are going to be endless uh you will you never really have to it was just it's just gonna be a very very good overall mask for anyone that's looking to upgrade a mask or looking to invest in their first mask the virtue vial is gonna be the best so uh best choice right now um unless um unless you prefer the dyes uh just because you like a low profile mask and a lighter mass, I'm pretty sure. Um, or you like the E-Flex because you like the you like that comfortability of the foam. But this is gonna be the best of both masks. A low profile comparing it to the dyes, uh, and the foam is gonna be comparable to the E-Flex foam. So you'll get the best of both a dye mask and an E-Flex mask. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be this is the Virtue Vio review, the versatile innovative optic. Uh, I recommend this to all of you, all the players out there, especially people who are, who wear glasses uh, during their day on the, at paintball, just like me. So, very, very good mask. I recommend this to all of us. Uh, anybody who's looking to upgrade or just invest in their first mask. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it I had to say about this mask. Yeah. So, we're gonna comment on this video what you guys think about. The virtue, the new virtue vial. Uh, comment down below uh, if you like this video and you want to see more. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're probably watching this on YouTube anyway, so remember to subscribe to us. And uh, we do post videos every Monday, and we do OKLG post um, midweek videos like this Thursday. We did post the unboxing of Balance Paintball unboxing that included my virtue vial. So remember to subscribe to us on. YouTube, like us on Facebook, and I'll see you guys next time.